After selling everything we owned in 2020, living through a pandemic, in April this year, we finally got the go-ahead to start our adventure. We explored and found love for our own country, made loads of memories and new friends, before breaking through the red tape and heading into Europe in June this year. We started in France, explored the French Riviera, hit Monaco, had a brief stop in Italy, and right now, we are experiencing the stun in Switzerland. The best thing is, our journey is only just beginning. We are Lingard Family Adventures. Today, we climbed to the top of Mount Snowden. Wow. We are heading to Matterhorn. We've packed at Matterhorn Terminal in Tash because you can't get a car. Zermatt is absolutely car vehicle free, all banned. So you have to get to Tash and then there's a, a train that goes straight into to Zermatt. And then from Zermatt, Zermatt, Z Zermatt. From there, you can get wherever you need to go to Matterhorn. So that's where we're going to have a look now. When we wake birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun oh we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life call us crazy but things are finally right You don't get much many better views than this. This is the viewpoint for Matterhorn. It's a little yeah. bit cloudy, so you can't see the complete home, but it is still a hell of a view, isn't it? Ah, oh, I'll tell you what, Switzerland, stunning. <laughs> Absolutely. It doesn't matter where stunning. you look in Switzerland, there's just something to see. It's just vast. Yeah. I mean, the, the first campsite that we stayed on was just, was just views, and we thought that was epic. And then we got to the campsite yesterday, and it's even more epic. Yeah. You just can't believe it can get any more beautiful, and yet it does. Let's take a look at that. So each side of the Matterhorn directly lines up with the um, directions of the compass. Is so that right? East is east, yeah, it works out perfectly. East, north, south and west, they all line up, so you can do it each way. Oh, that's wicked. Yeah. So we've just stood where you've seen that gnat come up there, and there's a bit there for bikes to go up and down. Now, Bree decided that this was a slide. She got halfway down it and fell off it. I mean, that just said, no one's going to slide down that. And Bree said, oh, my beer. And off she went. Where are they, Daddy? This way. Well, apparently it is somewhere, Henry. So we've decided we're going to do the cable cars. We're going to go up and see what we can see from the sky. Um, that's, the, that's the webcam, showing you what it looks like there at the minute. It doesn't look too bad. It is a little bit cloudy, so um, we're not going to go all the way to the top because I think it'll be a waste of money, to be fair, but uh, we are going to go up and get a different experience. So here we go. You can take bikes and everything on them. Standing there 
you bravely let me in I could wait a million years or more Until you came knocking at my door It's hard to be from the train from Zermatt and he's jumping back in the truck come to the terminal pay for the parking and we're going to drive a, drive back up to Visp back to where we're staying and uh, god the day's flown by no idea why but it's amazing isn't it it really is amazing 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 Matterhorn did not disappoint even though we didn't get to see the whole complete peak but we managed to get it at the best time of the day because it clouded over in the afternoon brilliant So today we are on the Mont Blanc Express. We are travelling through from Martinet from the Swiss side down to Chamonix on the French side. Uh, Chamonix is at the base of Mont Blanc and it, you can, if you wanted to get a cable car up to Mont Blanc, but we were going to have a look at that. Right. And it looks okay. So here's my French onion soup. Oh, we've got Ben. They're like savoury crepe. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, like yeah. bolognese. What's it called? Yeah, oh, come on, get oh, under me. This. I want to eat this. Okay. This is what I got. <laughs> so this. it's like a crepe with chantilly a and. Crepe. 
with cream and Nutella. What have you got, honey? I let Millie try one of my chips so I can... Taste theirs, okay. <laughs> well, what did you order? Is it good? What did you order? Chicken nuggets and chips and Brie got a crepe. Yeah. So, we left France, what, three days ago? We left France three days ago and that had all the come to you. She's eaten it already, so she's having some more. And we've got some more from the uh, French shop. Already back for cheese. <laughs> already back for cheese. Yeah, we was never getting out of a French town with no more come to you. Hello. Hello. I don't get too close to him. I thought it was before they can charge. Look at him. 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 Well, if it clears, if it comes in as quick as that, then they're going to clear just as quick. Yeah, true. So we came down to here, look. So we went to park the car there at Fish. Yeah. And that's 1,049 meters. So that's just below Snowdon. And then we got on the cable car, came all the way up to here. So we're at, pardon my uh, pronunciation, it's Fischeralp. Mm -hmm. 2,200 and then we're going all the way up to here to the viewpoint so that stops there and we'll have to walk to the viewpoint there but wow look at that okay so that's, that's the, the and then from here you can see the viewpoint and we can see the whole glacier from there and it shares and you can see all the all the did you say you could see Mont Blanc and yeah Mont Blanc's so the other side I think Matterhorn as well yeah. so you're telling us that the, the cable cars are going to come out of gas yep gonna yes out there. but not until 1355. Let's go on there! So now we've done the second part, to the first part, up to fish, fishy shell. Now we're going to go.
go to Agus Hall. To Agus Hall and see the viewing point. The clouds are setting, it's raining a bit, but I think we'll be alright. Um, but yeah, look. Setting badly. But it came in, so hopefully it'll go just as quick. Can you come back? These doors will open in a minute. Be quick! Come here, quick, quick, quick! Come on! Come back! That's the misters, quick, get up it. Yes, the rivals up there this time. Look at this She's doing it guys, she's doing it. She's finally on. Daddy. Good girl. Good girl. So we've just come down uh, Lora Brunnen Valley for a nice little bike ride with the family. Um, and we've passed about four or five base jumpers that are just packing up. So I'll show you where the base jump from. So base jump from the top of there. They have to hike all the way up there and they get to the edge and then they throw themselves off called base jumping down into this valley Did you see the base jumping? Yeah, it's coming down now! Lutherbrotten Luderburn. 
Ludebrun? Ludebrun. 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 So down this valley, there's 72 waterfalls. 72? Yep. 72. Pretty impressive. There's one. There's two. There's one at the other end of there. I've already passed four. There we go. 72. To the gondola. Yes. So cool. Up to, was it Mills? Is it Up Flower, flower park? park? Yeah, Flower oh. Park. Same I don't know why Millie's wearing a coat, by the way. No. It's like 25 degrees. Although I've got a coat on, so. Yeah, You've got it around your waist. I think yeah. she's climatised now to the heat, I don't know. you? Any, anything less than 30 degrees, she's got a coat on. Exactly. Uh, so we're going to get a gondola up. We're not quite sure. We tried to say it, but we'll show you rather than saying it because we're not very yeah. good on our German pronunciation. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. where we'll change on to another gondola and uh, no gondola that is easy for me to say and uh, go up to Moran. At Moran there is an adventure playground it's called the flower trail so there's a walking trail obviously lots of flowers an adventure playground they actually call it the family room so that's where we're going to head after here but when we got off at the first stop which is at Grimmel World show you that not only have we got these gorgeous stunning views but we've already found a playground. <laughs> so, then doing a quick dash to be there before she does a bit of a um, bit of uh, jumping off mountain. Ah, oh, breaks coppice. Breaks coppice. Did you we know where you got your idea? Did from? you nick your idea now from um, Switzerland? Not. So of them three, yeah. that one there is Jung Jungfra. 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 Four thousand one hundred fifty-eight meters high, and it's the highest point in Europe. It's called Top of Europe. It's there, look, Mills. You see? Can you look at the picture, look, and I'll show you. So, on the picture, look. Not a bad view. Just to sit and enjoy.
like it you didn't find the secret passage out very much well. I didn't. I like running through it. But I didn't know yet. But you just didn't choose to take it. No, you want to get drenched, right? Yeah. Come on then up. So what do you think to today? Good. Really good. Just take all in, really. Yeah. A lot to take in, isn't there? You, you literally, you, you could just sit here for hours <laughs> and hours and hours and hours. So the train leaves at five o'clock to get back down. It is the very last train. It's about quarter two. We've lost Bree down a rabbit hole and sent Henry in to find her. <laughs> we might miss that train. No wonder the UK is in a sorry state. She's just a small portion of the rebels from the UK. The Germans and the Swiss were rolling their eyes. Oh, and there's the Spanish as well. <laughs> 